the finest view from any press box in the world. Yeah, I, I don't think you're, you're, you're exaggerating there, Joe. I'd be a bit biased myself, being a townie myself. I can actually see my house from where I'm sitting here with you now. And it is, yeah, one of the most spectacular, beautiful uh, venues that, that you could hope to see. And we're very lucky to be here for an event like this. We sure are. I must confess, it's my first Munster football final. Well, would you believe, I saw my first one 60 years ago this year, <laughs> 1955. Is that right? When John Dowling, Captain Kerry, to beat uh, Cock in the Munster final, and John Dowling's grandson, uh, Dwally John Keane, is playing with Kerry today. Wow. So there you are. Wow. Yeah, and in 1947, uh, Dinny Lyne from my own club, Killarney Legion, Captain Kerry here to beat Cock, and his grandson, Jonathan Lyne, is playing wing back for Kerry today. So it's all about tradition down here, really, Joe. It sure is. So the backdrop is pretty spectacular. Oh. What, what mountains am I looking at? Wow. Oh, there. Uh, way over to your right, Joe, way yeah. to stream right over are, 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 is Cam Tool, the highest mountain in Kerry. And one of, and, uh, and uh, coming along then, then you have the McGillicuddy Reeks all in front of you, all running along in front of you over there. And way over to the left, then you have around Ratmore direction, you can see out to Ratmore, called the Paps. So the McGillicuddy Reeks and Cam Tool all over, stretching away over there. And talking about Cam Tool, uh, there was a, a new uh, athletic book launched recently in Kerry, uh, The Life and Times of John Linehan, the World Mountain Running Champion. And he holds the world record for running up and down Cam Tool. Out of 24 races, he won 22, and he was beaten twice. He was beaten once because he broke his leg, and he was beaten another time because he stopped to help somebody who was who was injured. So that's Cam Tool, and he launched his book recently there. So yeah, and then when you look across from you, then at the stand, Joe, you see uh, the, the, the Dr. Eamon O'Sullivan stand. That's directly across from you. And Dr. Eamon O'Sullivan was a man who trained Kerry to win eight All Ireland titles. The very same as Mick the Wire, mm. and he was the RMS in St. Finnan's Hospital, the mental hospital, which is directly behind us here, the big, huge, massive building, the biggest building in Kerry behind our backs because I stuck my head out the door behind this press box here and I saw the, the hospital which is really I mean literally on the doorstep here of the field and I it looked to me like a, an old kind of boarding school but you were saying no 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 it's a hospital yeah it's a, it, it was a, a mental hospital later known as St. Finnans and I worked there Joe as a psychiatric nurse for 38 years and when I went in the doors of that, of that hospital just over across the road here in 1962 there was 1,000 patients incarcerated there and you can add the staff onto that then and all the maintenance staff, there was 1,500 people. Now it's closed completely, it's sil lying silent and deserted. What's going to become, it's a, it's, it's a listed building, but I can tell you, after 38 years in there, it was a tough place to work at times, yeah. but it was the patients from that hospital that built Fitzgerald Stadium because back in the 30s, Dr. Raymond O'Sullivan, the RMS, brought in occupational therapy and one of the therapies, Joe, he said, was we'll get the patients doing manual work because he believed that manual work, football and men all went together in Kerry. Wow. And, they, and it took them, in 1936 then, the Munster Fine was played here the very first time it opened, Joe, in, in 1936. Looking at the town then, you might, you might want to know what you see in front. Yeah. What a spectacular view of greenery. Over to your right is the tall steeple of St. Mary's Cathedral. That's the cathedral that I was married in. That's the cathedral that I was baptised in. That's the cathedral that I'll be taken to when I die. Directly in front of you then is, is, the, is the, the Protestant, St. Mary's Protestant Church. That's the, the other steeple. In the, and then to your left is, is uh, the friary, the Franciscan friary. That's the other steeple you see to your left. I was at 10 o'clock mass there this morning and the priest was welcoming everybody to the Munster final. <laughs> and so, and, and you can see Killarney then just in front of you there and all those houses you see just there, there were some great footballers came out of there between the Dr. Crokes and the Legion Club. Yes. Yeah, the Gooch, you said, was just over there. He was, yeah, and his people came from there, and he's just living in Chan Al Chanavuli outside of it. He'd know that place well there, James O'Donoghue then, the corner forward. He just came d down there a small bit. Jonathan Lyne then, who's playing wing back today, he just came from around the corner here, in a place called Cleany. And uh, his grandfather would have Captain Kerry in the polo grounds in 1946. Right. Uh, Jonathan's, and, and uh, so you, more tradition there again, Joe. 